Hello, today I have a, a Bath and Body Works haul, and then I had just a couple of miscellaneous items to show you at the end of the video. Um, they're all fall or Halloween related um, scent and wax um, items. First, I picked up some Halloween inspired products from Bath and Body Works, and I got two soaps, a body wash and a body cream, and a candle. These soaps are really cool. The first one I have here is Vampire Blood. It smells like Wicked Plum. It's just a nice, juicy, tart plum scent, and I love the packaging. It's just really pretty. Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Plum are the scent notes. Then I got Buried Alive Soap. Scary Berry, and it says it has crushed cranberries, chilling pomegranate, and wild berry musk. And again, just a really cute packaging. Next I picked up Perfect Pumpkin Body Wash and Body Cream. I love the package. Cute little cats, little black cats, one sitting on top of a pumpkin over here. I like the font and the look of the work, you know, the writing I think looks really cool. The scent notes are, the scent notes are carved pumpkin, spooky cinnamon, black ginger, moonlight vanilla, and spiked amber. And I can really pick up on that spiked amber. I mean, I don't think this is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I think it's something a little different. It smells a little different to me. But again, I just love the packaging. I think it's a whole lot of fun. And then lastly, the Halloween item, the last Halloween item I picked up is this really cute candle. It's called Happy Halloween. And let me do this. I'll show you a little bit easier. My hands won't shake so much. Um, it's got couple cats one sitting on top of a pumpkin on that side it's got looks like a mom dad and a little girl jack-o-lantern ghouls <laughs> got some bats some jack-o-lanterns on the back and it even has a really cute lid it says boo isn't that cute <laughs> and the scent notes on this candle are uh, pumpkin clove vanilla and brown sugar so this one probably is sweet cinnamon pumpkin, or at least smells awful similar to sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Yeah, smells really good. I mean, I can the cinnamon's really strong on that candle. Um, next, I picked up four candles that are pumpkin inspired. And um, I've been wanting to find these for a long time, and they finally came out in, in my store. Uh, the first one I have here is pumpkin French toast. And this just smells like, um, it smells like French toast. It smells like you took a piece of bread, dipped it in an egg, stick it in a frying pan, put a little syrup, maple syrup on the top, and a little bit of pumpkin spice sprinkled on top. And that's just what it smells just like to me. I think the label's really pretty. The packaging with the squirrel holding a, squirrel has a little scarf on holding a pumpkin. So, so cute. Smells wonderful. Next I have berry pumpkin strudel wow i love the smell of this one too i think the oh i should mention that all these pumpkin candles have these lids these copper lids with a stamped pumpkin on top really really pretty i love this candle because of the color it's this really beautiful dark blue dark blue wax with this lovely blue label two white pumpkins in front it's called berry pumpkin strudel I smell blueberries, baked apple, puff pastry, and a little bit of pumpkin spice. Really strong and really lovely. Yes, I love that candle. Uh, next, I have caramel pumpkin swirl. I already had this candle with, with the older label, but when I saw this, and I love the candle anyway, when I saw this adorable, whimsical label, I just thought, I'll pick, I'll pick another one up. Um, this one has a fox behind a white pumpkin, a house in the background, pretty copper-colored leaves in the foreground, like a nice orange, burnt orange-colored wax. Um, it just smells good. It smells like pumpkin and caramel. Maybe it doesn't have brown sugar in there. No, cinnamon and vanilla bean. Pumpkin, caramel, cinnamon, and vanilla bean. Again, I just love the... See if you can see it without the glare. But really love the label. I think it's a lot of fun. And then the last pumpkin candle I picked up is Pumpkin Woods. Another one that I really, really like. Um, I love the lovely, like, olive green wax. 
and it looks so pretty next you know with this copper colored lid on top really an attractive looking candle uh, pumpkin woods smells like woodland spruce cedar clove buds and smoky vanilla it's definitely a woodsy smoky scent I love it to me this is a great scent to burn on a fall evening there's one candle I didn't pick up because they didn't have it in my store, but I really want to get my hands on it, and that is Pumpkin Fireside. I bet Pumpkin Fireside would remind me a little bit of Pumpkin Woods. It's probably a woodsy, um, smoky type scent, but I love those sorts of scents, so I might try my store again in a couple weeks to see if they have them in stock. Uh, the next candle I picked up, this isn't a pumpkin candle, but um, this one's called Autumn Sky. Here's the lab, there's the lid. I think the lid looks really classy. But the candle is gorgeous. Look how it has these beautiful copper, purple, teal, and green, and brown leaves all along the side of the jar, all completely wrapped around the jar. Beautiful, beautiful looking candle. Um, the scent notes of Autumn Sky is crisp autumn air, chilled mandarin, crushed thyme, amber wood, and black pepper. Now when I smell it, I just smell, probably all those scent notes combined puts me in mind of a really high-end yet very subtle, soft men's cologne. I smell a very cologne type smell, but it's real soft and real light. It's not very strong. I think it's lovely. Again, I think this will be a, a really nice candle to burn in the evening hours during the fall. So that's all that I got from Bath and Body Works. Um, and then I swung by Walmart on my way home. So I thought I'd just share with you a couple things I picked up from Walmart because they're scent, they're not wax related, but they're scent related. So if you want to keep watching, I'll show you. <laughs> um, I thought these were really fun. This is those Renews It. Uh, air fresheners. Well, they have them in a limited edition. Um, one's called Spooky Berry. It smells just like berries, and the other is Citrus Brew, and it smells like apple cider with a little citrus in it. I like to put these in my little room where I keep my kitty litter box. I think they work pretty well. But I just thought the, the designs were really fun. And then lastly, I thought I'd share with you, this is a, got this at Walmart last night. This is a limited edition Better Homes and Gardens wax cube packet. This one's called Perfect Pumpkin Ale. Now, uh, several weeks ago, I went to Walmart and stocked up on a ton of fall and autumn inspired wax, but I didn't see this one. And I only knew this one came out because there was a lady that did, I can't remember the, the, the channel name, but she did a, a review of it on YouTube so I thought I just had to go out and see if I can find one because I'm a I love craft beer and I love pumpkin ales in fact I'm drinking one right now this is oh I don't have the bottle with me I just have my mug but this is from New Belgium and it's a pumpkin ale that has cranberry and lemongrass in it delicious so anyway because I love craft beer so much and I love pumpkin ales when I saw this I thought oh that would be so fun to melt so I picked several of them up, brought them home, put it in my warmer. I did notice that I don't really pick up on the ale so much. I really more smell cider and pumpkin spice. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't pick up on an ale scent. And I know what an ale scent smells like because in addition to collecting wax and candles, I also love to collect artisan perfume oils. And there are several vendors from Etsy that I buy from. And like a couple years ago, I remember, and I still have them, I picked up one perfume oil called Cakes and Ale. And maybe a year ago, I picked up another one called Butter Beer. <laughs> they don't sound like they'd make good perfume oils, but actually, in my opinion, they smell really, really cool and they smell pretty good and they're fun to layer over other scents. But anyway, those scents, you, you smell a bakery note, you smell butter, you smell cake, but I, there's also a very distinct ale-like scent. And that's what I thought was missing in this this um, packet. So what I did was I remembered reviewing a village candle wax about a month and a half ago or a month ago and I remember thinking when I reviewed it and when I smelled it that it reminded me of ale, it reminded me of beer a little bit. And that's this village candle warm buttered bread. And I remember when I smelled it I thought to myself it doesn't so much smell like already baked bread, it smells like bread you're preparing to break. 
to bake. So like I could really smell a yeast scent and I remember thinking it smells like beer to me. So what I did was I put two, I put one cube of this perfect pumpkin ale and then I put two cubes of this warm buttered bread in the same warmer and now I smell what I really think authentically smells like pumpkin ale. So <laughs> if, that's just a, an idea for anyone who wants to recreate that scent in their own home. But um, anyway, that's it for me today. I really enjoyed my Bath and Body Works haul and my, my Walmart haul. Can't wait to start burning these pumpkin candles. I think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for watching my video and take care.